Hi, this is Vasil from At Home. So let us try how to solve the linear equation using the substitution method. As the name itself says, it is substitution. You are going to substitute one variable for the other. Okay. So in this equation, they have given you y is equal to 5x minus 7. That is your first equation. And the second equation says, uh, minus 3x minus 2y equals minus 12. So let us take this as second equation. So in the first equation they have said what is y. So you know one unknown variable you know in terms of the other variable that is your y is 5x minus 7. So let's substitute the y in the second equation okay. So wherever you see y in the second equation I am going to replace it with the first equation. So here the second equation is minus 3x minus 2y equals minus 12 right. So I am going to replace this y with my first equation. So what happens it becomes minus 3x as you should just write as it is and then minus 2 times instead of y you know what is y right. So it is given y equals 5x minus 7 in the first equation. Replace the y with 5x minus 7. Because 5x minus 7 is equal to y. And the rest you write as it is. So wherever you find the y, you are going to replace it with the first equation. So now let's expand and solve for x. So this is minus 3x. Now use the distributive property and multiply the negative 2 with this. So that will give you minus 10x and then you have to multiply the negative 2 with the second term within the parentheses. So that will give you plus 14 right equals minus 12. Now you have got all individual terms put the like terms together. So here you would get uh, minus 3x and minus 10x is minus 13x equals taking the 14 to the other side. You subtract 14 on both sides, right? So that becomes minus 12 minus 14. That plus 14 when it comes to this side of the equal to sign becomes minus 14. So you got minus 13x equals since the si signs are same, I just add them up. So that is 26, it's negative 26 and so your x would be dividing throughout by negative 13. It would be minus 26 over minus 13 and so that is equal to 2. So you got your value x equals 2, okay. Now you can substitute this x in equation y and find out what is your y. Now we are going to substitute x in equation 1. So your equation 1 is y equals 5x minus 7 right. So let's plug in the value of x here. So that is y equals 5 times 2 minus 7. So that's 10 minus 7. So your y is equal to 3. Got it? So now you got your x and y values, your x comma y equals 2 comma 3, okay. So here we are not eliminating anything, we are just substituting one variable in the other equation, okay. So now let's do the check. You can use the x and y in equation 2. So that is minus 3 times your x is 2, right, minus 2 times your y is 3 equals minus 12. Let's see if this is true. So this is minus 6. Here again it is minus 6 equals minus 12. So you got minus 12 equals minus 12. So your LHS is equal to RHS. Therefore the answer is right. Okay. So let's continue. I have taken yet another problem. Here you find the first equation is given as minus 2x plus 6y equals 6 
and the second equation is minus 7x plus 8y equals minus 5. Select one of these equations. Find what is your x in terms of y or keep your y on your left and find what is y in terms of your x. Okay. You can do either way. Here I think um, x would be more convenient. So I just keep my x term on my left and I rewrite this like you know minus 2x equals you already have a 6 on your right side and this 6 when you take it to this side will become minus 6y okay now I need to know what is my x so I just divide throughout by negative 2 okay minus 2 so what happens this minus 2x divided by minus 2 will give me x and here 6 divided by minus 2 is minus 3 and here minus 6y divided by minus 2 is plus 3y. Okay, now I know what is my x in terms of y. You can use this as your first equation and substitute in the second equation. When I say substitute, you are going to replace the x with minus 3 plus 3y. Uh, in the second equation. Substitute equation 1 in equation 2. I take this one as my second equation. Okay. So the second equation says minus 7x plus 8y equals minus 5. So I am going to use instead of x I am going to use minus 7 times minus 3 plus 3y. Okay. 3y plus 8y equals minus 5. Now make them individual terms. So I use the distributive property here and multiply. Minus 7 times minus 3 is plus 21. Okay. Then minus 3 times plus 3y will give you minus 21y. And here you already have your 8y equals minus 5. Take this 21 to the other side and uh, here you can put these two like terms together right. So these two are like terms minus 21 y plus 8 y right. So that will give you minus 13 y equals you have minus 5 already here. Now the 21 when it comes this side it becomes minus 21. So you get minus 13y equals minus 26. Okay. So dividing throughout by 13 minus 13 you get your y equals 2. Now you know your y is 2. You can put that in your x. So here you have already taken x equals this right. Substitute y in equation 1. So you know y is 2. Let us put that there. So your equation 1 is x equals minus 3 plus 3y. So instead of y I am writing the value of y which is 2. So that is going to be minus 3 plus 6. And so your x is 3. Understood? You got your x as 3. Okay fine. So your x comma y would be 3 comma 2. Shouldn't we check this? You have to verify if your answer is right, right? So let's do a check. So in the second equation, I'm going to replace my x and y with these values. So that is minus 7 times x. x is 3 plus 8 times y. y is 2 is equal to minus 5. Let's see. This is minus 21. And here it is plus 16 equals minus 5. So yeah, yeah, minus 21 plus 6 is 16 is minus 5 equals minus 5. Your LHS is equal to RHS. So your answer is right. Okay. This is a bird problem. So let's see how to do this. 5 years hence the age of Jacob will be 3 times that of his son. 5 years ago Jacob's age was 7 times that of his son. Let us assume Jacob's present age be x. 
and his son's age be y. Okay. Now let's write the equation. They say five years hence. So that is after five years, right? So let's write the equation. After five years, what happens? Both their ages will be increased by five. So I just write x plus five. This age I write it as y plus five. Okay. After five years, Jacob's age will be three times that of his son. So this is Jacob's age. This is equal to three times son's age. Okay. So here you can make it an equation, proper equation. So you get x plus 5 equals, multiply the 3 inside. So you get 3y, distributive property, okay, plus 15. So you get the equation x equals 3y plus 15 and taking, okay, I write it there, plus 15 minus 5. So I get my x as 3y plus 10. So this is my first equation. I'm ready with my first equation. Now, what do they say about the next five years ago? So, uh, this is after five years. Now, we are going to write five years ago, okay? So, when it is ago, you must subtract five, right? So, Jacob's age will be less, five years less than the present age. And uh, his son's age will also be five years less than his present age. In that case, five years earlier, Jacob's age was seven times that of his son. So this is Jacob's age. This is equal to seven times that of his son. Okay. So let's put that in right way. So that is x minus 5 equals 7 by minus 35. Okay. So bring your x and y to one side. So, x minus 7y equals negative 30. Am I right? This is your second equation. So, now we need to substitute equation 1 in 2. Yes, yeah, second equation is x minus 7y equals negative 30, right? Let's replace the x with y. So, what you get is x is equal to what did we get before? x is equal to 3y plus 10. I'm going to replace that. So this is going to be x equal 3y plus 10 minus 7y equals minus 30. So this would be minus 4y equals when the 10 goes to the other side it becomes minus right. So that will be equal to minus 40 okay. So you got your y as 10. So y is the son's age. Okay. So you got your son's age as 10. So what will your father's age be? Your father's age is x, right? So Jacob's age. You got your x is equal to 3y plus 10, right? x which is equal to 3 times y. y is 10 here. Plus 3y plus 10. Okay, 10. So that would be 30 plus 10, 40. Okay. So Jacob's age is 40. Present age is 40. 40 years. Okay. And here this is also years. Now let's check 5 years ago. That means it is 40 minus 5. Right. Should be equal to 7 times 10 minus 5. So see that is 35 equals 35. Your answer is right. And if you want, you can make the uh, check for five years later also. Okay. Five years later, Jacob would be 45, right? That is four, 40 plus 5. And uh, this person, his son will also be 10 plus 5. In that case, they say it is three times. Let us see here. 45 equals 45 here. It is solved. So this is as simple as this. You are just trying to find the what is one variable in terms of another. Substitute it in the second equation. Get the value of one variable. Using that you can find the value of the second variable. Okay. 
Hope you all understood what is being said today. Thank you. Bye.